Okay, so I'm here in Zoom. I'm going to share the screen and use the annotation tools so that I can highlight things on the screen. So I can put text, I can draw on the screen, and I can highlight things as well. And also, other people in the meeting can do the same thing. Now, the first thing I need to do is go over to the Zoom settings that's on my account and just make sure that that's enabled. So let's go over to that first and make sure all of that is set up. So here I am, I'm logged in and I'm here on the settings down here and it's in meeting basic that I want. I'm just going to click on that, make sure that the tab here is on meeting. Click here and if I scroll down, I'll find the option for annotation and you can see it's switched on. Now I'm going to allow the saving of shared screens with the annotation so you can save them afterwards, which is really quite handy. Now the other thing you can do is say only the user who is sharing can annotate, otherwise other people can join in as well. So I've got it switched on. I don't mind other people who are going to annotate. I'm the only one on this anyway because I'm just demonstrating it to you. But let's just go back to Zoom and share a screen. So let's just do that. Let's go to share screen here. and I'm going to choose this one here, my settings there and that does go to my settings but actually there was another one I've got open I actually think this would be a nice demonstration to use on maps so I've got this here it is Tower Bridge and maybe I want to point out some features and things like that so up at the top here I've got annotate so if I click on that you if you don't see that if you move to the top of the screen you'll see it there's annotate and now you get all these tools so the mouse tool here is the one who that you use for actually selecting things on the site. So here is a key one. This here is the format. If I click on that, I can choose a color. Now the color can be different for any one of these tools. So you've got the mouse here and that's for clicking on things as if you were using the site. And you can use this on anything. So it could be PowerPoint, Keynote, a website, an image, anything you like, any bit of software that you're sharing, this works. So select allows me to just highlight just by clicking and dragging and when I let go, it disappears. But there is something I can do to make it stay later, which is under the draw section. But first, let's just take a look at text. So I can click on text here. You may have noticed that this format here changed color. So they are two different colors. And if I click on draw, it could be different again. So let's just choose a color here. I'm just gonna go for this Let's just choose something like this that will be easy to see. And then I just click where I want that to go. So I could put here Tower Bridge. I can just simply type that in. And I could then click somewhere else. I can click off of that and then click and add in the Thames that's over here. And I could have chosen a different color as well. Next to it is Draw. So I can click on draw and you've got all different shapes like thin lines, straight lines, squares, ellipses and circles and so on. So there's arrows on here as well. So let's just start off with this arrow here. And it goes that if I click from here to here, where you finish is where the tip of the arrow is. And you can see you can just pop that in. If I want to add another one in, I could choose a different color. Let's choose this one. and Let's just go to here, let's go draw again, and we could choose, well, let's keep it on that, and then we can just click and drag, and you can see it's now got a different color there. There are others as well, so if I click on draw again, as I said, you've got a square or rectangle, you can do that, that's without a border around it. I can go to this one here that is a solid or semi-solid one. I think you're getting the idea, and then again, let's just change color to something else. Let's just, I'm just doing this quickly so you can see what they all do. So this is like transparent or semi-transparent. And then you have this one, which is solid. So there you go. You can try these out and again, change the colors. Stamp allows you to just stamp any of these in. So if I click on this arrow here and then I click here, you can see it has just stamped in that arrow. And every time I click, it pops one in so you're not drawing or anything and I can do the same for this star and it just pops it in so you can use these kind of like for landmarks and and so on 
And again, I could have changed the color. Spotlights allows me to change the mouse. So if I click on Spotlights, you can see that the mouse tip has got like, what well, you can kind of think of it as a laser pointer, so it might be easier for people to see. You also have underneath here the arrow, so you can see that I can point to it, and you can see that I'll go to this, well, I've typed in Tower Bridge, and you can see that I'm pointing to it here. And you have the vanishing pen, and this is quite a new feature. If you click on it, you can sort of draw something in, and then it slowly disappears. Let me just change that to another color that might be easier to see. So let me just do that again, and you'll see I circle it, and then it fades away. I think that's really neat. Okay, so you've also got an eraser tool here, and I think you'll work out what that is. If I click on eraser, I can now click on things that I want to. So it's just a single click that I'm doing to get rid of them, and this is just tidying things up just a little bit. By the way, if you go back to select, you can click and drag to move things around that are on the screen. I skipped over that one initially because that couldn't do anything because I didn't have anything on the screen here. So let's just see about that. And then I could move the head around here where it's got the little circle, that little handle at the edge there. Okay, so you have got undo and redo. I think we're all familiar with what undo and redo can do. So if you need to remove something that you've just done, you can click on undo. If you want to do it again, you can click on that. Over here is clear. If I click on that, I can clear all the drawings, all my drawings, which are the ones that I've done, and the viewers, that's anyone else who is actually adding to this as well. I can clear theirs, but keep mine. And you can save it. So you can save it as a ping, or if I click on this arrow here, you've got the choice of saving it as a PDF as well. So there you go. That's how the annotation works. When you're done, you can just click on the annotate to finish. But it's still got them on the screen there, so you can get that back and then clear them if you want to. So that's how the annotation works when you're using Screen Share. If you do like this, please do like, share, and subscribe. I have got loads of different videos, including many on Zoom, so hopefully those will help you out. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.